that? Yeah. yeah. We're going to talk about numbers today, right? The more that we talk about math, the better we actually are at math. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the more that we talk about it, the better we are at math. So that's what we're going to do today. And um, so you're going to be working with your partner. And what I don't want you to do is today I don't want you to shout out any answers, okay? If you have an answer in your head, I want you to keep it in your head until I ask for it. Is that a good plan? Yeah. Yeah. If I tell you you can talk to your partner about it, you can do that. But I don't want you to shout out any answer. Okay? Good plan? Can you give me a thumbs up? Cool. Cool? All right, cool. All right. And um, one of the things that we're also going to do today is we're not only going to figure out the answer to some math problems, but we're going to explain why we know the answer to these problems. So that's something that good mathematicians do. Somebody who's really good at math not only knows the answer, but can explain why they know the answer. And that's what we're going to work on today. Cool. All right. So I got a math problem here for you. All right. Remember, there's no shouting out. Right? I don't want anybody to talk yet. I just want you to look at the math problem. And when you look at the math problem, I want you to go, hmm, okay, can I figure it out? Can I figure it out? I want you to be thinking about what strategy might I use to figure this problem out? And do I need anything to help me figure it out? But I don't want you to talk about it yet. Okay? So, shh. Think about it. Okay, I already think about it. Hold on. Think about that. Let's see. How would I solve this? Do I need anything to help me solve it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands down. Okay. I'm going to give you and your partner 10 seconds to talk about it. Okay. All right? You mark, set, go. Talk to your partner about it. Talk to your table partner about it. Juliana, are you talking to your partner? Did you guys talk about it? Yeah. Both of you talked? Did you agree? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Did you guys figure it out? Yes! All right. Who thinks they know the solution to this problem? Who thinks they know the solution? Who thinks they know? Young lady, what is your name? Kamori. Kamori. Can you stand up for us, Kamori, please? <laughs> And can you tell us the solution to this? Come over here. What is the solution to this problem? Why? Okay, so I want you to use uh, the actual sentence here. Oh, wait. Solution. Hmm, that's kind of a difficult word. Listen to me as I say it one more time. Solution. solution. Say it with me. Solution. solution. What, is a, what is a solution? What's another word? What, what does that mean? Yeah. It, it means something that can... That that can help you fix a problem. Ooh, wow, I like the way that you made the connection between problem and solution. That's absolutely correct. If this is our problem, the answer is the solution, right? So answer is another way to say solution, right? So what's the word? Solution. All right, so what is the solution to this problem? You do? Five. Now, how do you know that? How do you know that the solution to this problem is five? Because, because it's four plus five equals nine. Twenty-four plus five equals twenty-nine. All right. So, um, I saw that you started with four and the five. You did with the ones place first, and then you add the tens, right? How did you know how to do that? Because my teacher showed us how. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> good answer, right? All right, good. High five. Right on. But I'm not sure yet. I need to see somebody else tell me if they know the solution. You can sit down, sweetheart. Somebody else tell me the solution. Young man, why don't you come on up here? Actually, you can stay right there. Stand up there. Go ahead, stand up right there. And what is your name? Habin. Habin? Habin. Habin. All right, Habin, can you tell me the solution to this problem? The solution is five. Ah, oh, okay, great. You are in agreement with your classmate. How do you know that the solution is five? I know the solution is five because I added this. Tell me what you added. I added um, five. But 
how did you come to five? Did you start with five or did you start with a different number? Tell me, tell me how you figured that out. I am started with one twenty four. Okay, and then how did you how did you get to five? Um, I did some I counted it up and I, um, I, I stopped and put in nine and I am doing it again and it was fine. All right, that's awesome. I like the way you did that. All right, there's two people that have the same solution. Anybody else have um, the same solution, or you have the same solution, or what is your name, young lady? Go ahead, you can, you can sit down. What's your name? Giselle. Giselle, can you stand up for me? And what did you find is a solution to this problem? Um, Go ahead and start with the sentence for me, right here. I, I know. Whoa, so you, did, are you telling me, correct me if I'm wrong, did you use subtraction to help you solve an addition problem? Yes. Wow. All right. Good. I like that. I need one more person to help me out here. One more person, one more person. You ready? Yeah, stand up. What is your name? Rihanna. Rihanna. Okay. Rihanna, what is your solution to this problem? Five. Okay, use the sentence for me, please. I know the solution is five. And how do you know the solution is five? I know this because I started with 24 in my head and I counted on in my head to get to 29. Oh, okay, you counted your head. Does anybody ever do that? Do you guys count your head? Do you guys use something to help you count in your head sometimes? No. Oh, you just use your head? Okay. So does anybody ever use their fingers? I just use my fingers. Sometimes. Sometimes I do this. I go. <laughs> and I count that way, right? All right, good. Hey, thank you for that. All right, you guys are pretty good. Your teacher said you were pretty good at math. You guys ready for another one? Yeah. By the way, you guys, the using the fingers thing, it's okay. You don't have to say, I don't use my fingers. Yeah, it's okay. I'm a, I'm a mathematician, and sometimes I use my fingers. A, a good mathematician knows when, what kind of tools can help them solve math. And fingers is one of the things that you can do. But sometimes when I get over 10, they run out of fingers. All right, you guys ready? Okay, same rules apply. We're not going to shout out an answer. No need to raise your hands yet. I want you to think about, this is a little bit different problem. This is a story problem or a word problem. Okay, so you're going to have to read it with me. Think about what you know. Think about what you don't know. And there's some words in here that are going to tell you what type of math problem this is. So I want you to be thinking about that. And then I want you to be thinking about how you're going to solve how, what, what the solution is and how you're going to solve it. You ready? <laughs> bless you, bless you. There are 32 pink flowers. There are seven white flowers. How many flowers in all? Hang on, think about it. What do you know? What do you need to know? What type of problem is it? And do you know what the solution is? Put your hands down. If you think you know, if you have an answer, give me a thumb to the chin. If you're still working on it, Give me a thing, your, your pointer finger to your chin. I know the answer. I'm still working on it. I know the answer. I'm still working on it. I know the answer. I'm still working on it. Still quiet. <laughs> hey, good mathematicians think about math before they even do it. All right, you ready to talk to your partner about it? Yeah. All right, take 10 seconds, talk to your partner, go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, did you and your partner agree on what the solution was? Yes! Well, I'm going to need some people to tell me what the solution is and how they solved it. We're going to start with this young man right here. What is your name? 
Aiden, stand up for me. Uh oh, he's got a Star Wars shirt on. <laughs> Come on up here, Aiden. And you know what? I want you to tell the class if, what is the solution to this problem. I think the solution is that we we can use the hundreds chart and 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 um, go down as many as we need to go down and if we go and if we need to go to the right any we we go to the right and then we can get the problem. All right, so I like the fact that you're thinking about the hundreds chart. Did you determine what the solution is here? So the question was, um, how many flowers in all? Did, could you tell me how many flowers there were? If there were 32 pink flowers and seven white flowers, how many flowers in all, Aiden? Did you, did you come to a solution? Here's what I want you to do. Hey, Aiden. But go ahead and sit down for me. I'm going to ask a couple of your buddies if they have a solution, and I want you to listen to what their solution is and then <coughs> how they came up with it, and then I'm going to come back to you, okay? Is that cool? How about we go to your partner? What's your name? Anai. Anai? Go ahead, stand up for me. Do you know the solution to this problem? What is the solution to this problem? Um, well, yes. Um, 39. Okay, so go ahead and use the whole sentence for me. I know the solution is 39. 39 apples? <laughs> 39 what? Flowers. All right, flowers. Because that's something that good mathematicians do. They always, especially in word problems, we have to know how many, uh, what the number represents. So say the whole thing for me. I know the solution is 39. Flowers. Flowers, all right. One more time all together. I know the solution is 39 flowers. Awesome job. But how do you know that? How do you know that it's 39 flowers? Mm. Tell your classmates because they want to know. What did you do to figure it out? I counted on. You counted? So what did you use? In your head, your fingers, and your toes, and your elbows? How did you count <laughs> to help you solve the solution? Um, my fingers. Okay, so walk, show me how you do that. Show me how you do that. Yeah, let's listen to her. I want, I want you guys to, to, to listen to how she solved the problem. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and I'm at 30. <laughs> and, how, and how did you know to only stop at 39? Because... Two equals nine, so that's how I know. Ooh, you did the ones place too. Good job. All right. Well, who else wants to explain why? You listening? I'm going to come back to you one more time. You ready for me? Go ahead and stand up over here. Oh, wait. Actually, you can, or up over here. Let's stand right here. What is your name? Ian. 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 What is the solution to this problem? I know the solution is 39 because... 39 39 apples? All right. Start over for me. I know the solution is 39 flowers. All right. So, um, Ian, would you tell your class how you know that it's 39 flowers? Um, 30, it's 39 flowers because 2 plus 3 equals 10, and 2 times 7, no, nine. Well, here, look at the problem again. 2 plus 7 equals 9, and, and 2... Minus, no, 7 minus 2. Just stick with me. I'm with you. We're good. So you said 2 plus 7 equals 9. So then how did you know there was 39 and not just 9? Because 7 plus 9 equals 9. Good work. Anybody else want to take a, take a try at this? You want to do that? Come on up here, honey. What's your name? Callista. All right, let's listen to Callista. Callista, what is the solution to this problem? I have a solution in 39. 39 zebras? 
Tell your classmates. What's the solution to this problem? I know the solution is 39 flowers. Oh, good. Calista, can you tell them how you came up with 39 flowers? All right, good. I like the way that you said if I know this, then I know that. High five. Good job. Aiden, you want to try it? All right, dude. Stand up. Aiden, what is the solution to this problem? Um, the, I know the solution is 39 flowers because I added, because like, first I added the, the two, the two. Mm -hmm. I mean, I added the I added the two to the seven, and then I added the the thirty to the two, and then I found out it was thirty nine. Good work, dude. Why don't you explain yourself there? Sometimes, sometimes mathematicians we know what an answer is, but it's hard for us to explain how we know the answer. So the more that we can think about math, the better at math we're going to be. You guys did an awesome job today. Okay. Can you, can you quietly get up and go back to your table?